Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia, here to do your love reading. I hope you're doing fantastic. Happy Saturday. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Thank you so much for all your love and support for me and the channel. If you are new, this is a Scorpio channel. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. Um, you may want to turn your notification bell to all because I do do videos for Scorpio seven days a week. Um, cross watchers, you're welcome here. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit that like for me, right? I'm using this fancy dancy deck today for us. Um, if you're looking for a live tarot card reading from my psychics or tarot card readers, then um, from now until the end of the month, as many times as you need, you can call up, but don't forget to say things are heating up. If you say things are heating up, you'll get your reading discounted every single time. Okay? Um, everything else, Scorpio, that you need is listed down below in the description box. Just click on more if you want Scorpio Squad merchandise, cute stuff for the summer. Um, if you want a personal love reading with me, you can book it through my website by going to products and then tarot card readings, okay? Uh, I feel like i got to fix this. Okay. Here we go, Scorpio. Let's see what we've got. I love you, and let's get started. I call upon the divine. I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio. Oop, we have a card that flipped over for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Wow. Okay, you've got judgment. Something here is going to allow you to free yourself, Scorpio. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a legal issue for some of you, but judgment is here. And I feel you're free to go. In the now, you have the star. Scorpio, you could be um, interested or dating somebody who is in the spotlight, Scorpio. The Four of Cups in the hidden position, or it could be an Aquarius. I caught it. The Queen of Swords in the near future. For Scorpio, please, when it comes to love, thank you. Oh, okay, I think we've got all our cards here. Here we go. We have the Emperor. We have the Palace of Swords. We have Justice. And we have the Ten of Cups. You're happily ever after. I love it. Okay, so we have Aries energy. We have Libra energy. Um, Gemini and Aquarius here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Taurus here. We have Virgo and Capricorn, okay? So we already mentioned what's in the center of your read. We have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. Wow, with the Ace of Cups. Okay. So I feel here you've been going through it. I feel there's some kind of sadness here. You're tired. You feel like, you know... You got people giving you a hard time. I feel like you feel like you have to protect yourself. The Ten of Wands is here, so you go from the Seven to the Ten. You're ready to just put this down. But first, there's going to be a battle or a fight here, okay? And I feel with the Seven of Cups, you're then free to do as you choose to have this brand new beginning. Possibly with, it's the Magician, so a Virgo, who's an Empress. And by the way, we have the Emperor here as well. Okay, doesn't have to be, but it's somebody who's a very good manifester here. It could be a single mom. Okay, you also have the, the Palace of Wands with the Three of Cups. All right, so let's see what's going on here. In the recent past, the Ten of Pentacles uh, could have been um, all about money, family, security, 
your destiny. Now we could say this could have been hours ago. You could have been thinking about this in regards to a particular individual. Could be a Virgo here. The, the Hermit is here. Okay? Or maybe this is your person's energy. Maybe your person's energy was all about abundance and the future here. Um, maybe somebody was married. Okay. But somebody here, and I feel it was your person, went through some kind of serious betrayal or ending, or they're finally releasing that ending. Whatever that pain was, that heartache was. Yeah. There's choices here to be made. I feel here somebody may be um, regretting how certain things have happened in their past. Scorpio, it could be you. Okay, things that didn't work out. It's a lot on your mind and I think on your person's mind as well. So maybe that's why I'm feeling there's a little bit of a hesitation here on both sides. The star is here with the two of pentacles. So there's a decision that needs to be made. Maybe it's between two. Here. I think though you want to find out more about this particular individual. Yeah, another two. There's a decision that needs to be made. But I feel you're going to make a decision and you're going to hold on to a particular individual here, Scorpio. Or they're deciding to hold on to you. There's some kind of transformation, rebirth going on here. Very sweet emotions. Um, someone very loving, very sensitive here. And I think... You're opening up to showing it more towards this Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy doesn't have to be. It's just the energies you guys don't get stuck on the zodiacs. This is somebody very beautiful, very much in their power. Yeah? Very intuitive. I feel this person is worried that um, you may leave them out in the cold. Here, they're kind of stressing out about it. But I feel here there's action being taken towards a commitment here. And now I've got the King of Swords. You guys are already emperors or empresses and emperors here. So you're going to be showing up as all the kings and queens here. Okay? Palace of Coins is here for the two of you. I feel like you're both waiting for, um, you both may feel like there's competition here when it, like you think they have, there's other people involved, you think there's other people involved here. But I do see forward movement and I see your wish fulfillment here and I see the sun, which is happiness here. I think I'm talking to two people that are attractive that are popular and that's why you both feel like there could be competition the four of cups why is the four of cups here in the hidden position we have the page of pentacles someone's patiently waiting for the other one to offer their cup of love and here you are the king of cups i feel somebody's going to make it known to you that they have that they love you. You're guarded though. You're guarded. You're in a predicament right now, Scorpio, where I feel you are uneasy. You're just waiting for like the next bad thing to happen. Or, you know. Or maybe it's your person who's really guarded. Okay. 
There's a lot of watching between the two of you here. Okay? But clearly somebody wants a victory with this pre-empress here, who could be a Virgo. Or you could be wanting it with an air sign, but you know, King of Swords can also be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it also could be Scorpio, it also can be Virgo. So somebody wants their freedom here from a situation, not a person, a situation. Okay? And then, then they're ready to take a leap of faith when it comes to love. With who? The Queen of Cups. So there is love between you and this person. It's just something has to be uh, concluded first. The Palace of Cups is here. So this is big love and a big new start that brings a lot of healing for you, Scorpio. I feel somebody's going to be very surprised soon. You may be popping the question to this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This is what's hidden from you. The Queen of Swords in the near future. So we've had the King and the Queen of Swords. We've had the Empress and the Emperor. We've had the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Swords, why is it here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? This is somebody who's intelligent, fair, and completely um, could be psychic, intuitive. She's a fair queen. I mean, she'll she'll listen to what you have to say, right? This could be you, Scorpio. Um, you're ready to fight for what you want, and I feel it's your. Um, you could be dealing with another water sign, or somebody's ready to fight for you. Again, we're seeing the same cards. There will be a victory here. Okay. Somebody is coming in for somebody, and they're coming in for them pretty strong. No joking around. I feel here that um, you're coming into union with your person. There's some kind of reconciliation happening here. Whether the two of you were together at some point or not, you know of each other, and I feel you're finally coming together. The thing that spirit is showing me is that you both have been burnt before so it's going to take a moment the emperor for you why is the emperor here for scorpio why is the emperor here Why is the Emperor here? I feel Scorpio, you're ready to defend yourself. Here. Okay? I feel you've already fought your battles. You're taking the rest of the swords with you. Okay, you may be right now researching or trying to find out some information that may benefit you, or you're going to find out some information. Scorpio, you are, you really are, you're protecting yourself. Um, you're protecting yourself from a particular individual here. You are. Um, I see this person, um, this person that you may be researching about or whatever, may be trying to move forward. I feel this is somebody from your past, but they're, they, they're stuck. 
their stuck and um, their sadness here. Okay. Just so you can see, it's the hangman with the three of swords here. Now, this could be somebody from your past trying to come together with you here. That your intuition is telling you it's the one. But you can't take, like I said, a little patience is needed. You're sad that you have to wait. But it's okay. A little patience is needed before something gets cleared up here. You're going to listen to your intuition when it comes to um, having this reconciliation and going towards your destiny here with a particular individual. Distance could be in the way too. Yeah. I feel there's some fear here that you may be having. Feeling like you need to guard yourself. But you will have a victory here. Don't worry about it. Whatever that is for you, it's all going to be different. The Palace of Swords for your person. This person stands in their truth. Yeah. Virgo energy. The Palace of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. You can have a beautiful, beautiful, brand new beginning with this person, Scorpio. They want a new beginning with you, and they've got a lot to offer. Why is the Palace of Swords here? Why is the Palace of Swords here? Why is the Palace of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. Wow, two aces. And look who's here. Scorpio, it's you. You're getting this commitment. They they offer security, abundance, passion, a brand new beginning. You know, they don't care what anybody thinks. They want to come off for you commitment. And again, I showing the the Queen of Swords with the Hierophant, the Tower, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Wands. Somebody here is being very nurturing to you, or giving, or you're being very nurturing to somebody, and you're helping them heal here. Or maybe you've helped this person heal. But again, it's all about listening to your intuition here. Okay? Somebody is healing your heart. They're doing it in their way, though. Justice. I feel it's with the things they say, Scorpio. That makes you feel good. Justice. Why is justice here? I'm telling you, there's some kind of situation that needs clearing up, Scorpio. Justice in your hopes and fears. That's what you want. You want something that's balanced and fair. And I feel justice is here. We have the Queen of Wands here. Now, you may have fire in your chart, or this is your person. There's a decision that needs to be made. Decision is to fight. To fight for what you want and what you believe in. Wow. You love this Empress. You do. Love this Empress. 
And I feel some of you, Scorpio, whether it's you or your person, someone's going to have to make the decision. Is it going to be love? Or is it going to be about being in the spotlight here? This is somebody from your past life, soulmate, twin flame. You are definitely coming together. You're going out together. Your intuition is telling you that this is going to be a very healing um, connection for you. Somebody's patiently waiting for you here. Okay. see reconciliation I see a celebration marriage party something here okay but again there's fear here there's fear here about maybe one last battle before someone's free to go but I see it being positive I see the six of wands I see the knight of wands it's forward movement fast yeah I feel you're up at night thinking about a particular individual here. Somebody, you know, or they're up thinking about you. Maybe, you know, somebody was left out in the cold here or not getting enough. Okay. But I feel here there's really sweet emotions here somebody also could be a little bit younger the two of cups is here there is love here it's not a joke there is love here we have the ten of cups in the outcome why is the ten of cups here why is the ten of cups here so you get your happily ever after wow the Ten of Pentacles, side by side. The Ace of Wands, that's amazing, Scorpio. Oh my. The Emperor. Oh my. The Three of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Page of Wands. Okay, so somebody's really worried about getting this offer or commitment from you, Scorpio, or vice versa. But we see the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands with the Emperor here. We do see love, somebody coming in with a lot of love here. And somebody you know realizing that there is a potential for love here but too many cups have been spilt before in the past doesn't have to be between the two of you it could be just with previous connections but we see a new beginning here okay and it's at a distance from you we see the eight of wands here so fast communication fast movement Now, Scorpio, you have somebody new, and then you also have somebody from your past that you're not happy about returning, okay? It brings you a lot of conflict. And my advice to you, Scorpio, is that you let this end. You bring this to an ending, okay? Whatever that is from the past. This emperor also could be worried about their money, their stability here. And maybe that's why they're back. The 
palace of swords speak your truth there's something that you're going to find out here the knight of swords the lovers there's somebody who you want to be with i feel it's this libra gemini or an aquarius or this is your energy a virgo taurus or capricorn here A little patience is needed, and I feel there's a lot of happiness to be had with this new person. You're both holding on to one another, but something has to end first. That person from the past has to be put in check, or you have to get this person out of your energies in order for you to move forward and go towards your destiny here, Scorpio. Okay, otherwise you're going to be stuck. You've got a brand new opportunity for love. You just have to make a decision to clearly take a leap of faith. You know, something is going to happen here around this full moon I'm seeing, Scorpio. Okay? Somebody may be worried about not having a commitment with you. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Love and kisses. Bye.